While coastal residents brace for a potential cyclone, western parts of Queensland are in the grip of a drought. Some graziers are worried bumper winter falls followed by patchy summer rain will mean the removal of drought declarations and that's left them worried. Mustering has started early at Majaka Station in the Channel Country. Bullier Rick Britton, is getting his calves ready for market. The calves that we're marking now will be saleable weaners come July, August, and then the cows will then have, won't have to carry a calf through the drier seasons. It's dusty work, even though last year Bullia had record winter rain, and the annual total was more than the previous three years combined. Councillor Britton believes that's likely to mean the Shire's drought declaration comes off when the committee meets next month. If you go on those figures, it's probably going to come out of drought, but I don't know whether the country is probably ready to come out of drought. The feed on his property is already yellowing after less than average rainfall over summer, and he doesn't expect a cyclone to bring relief this far west. Agforce says most of the benefits are likely to fall closer to the coast. But invariably they do um, start to track west. Uh, and then develop into a rain depression. Um, so let's hope that that is the case this time. 400 kilometres northeast of the Channel Country, Brinard Station near Julia Creek has already had plenty in the rain gauge. Well, it's a tremendous feeling to see the green grass about and also to allow our herd to, to rebuild again. Scott Harrington says his family property was lucky enough to be under the summer storms and he now plans to keep his calves. It's the start of rebuilding. It'd be really nice to have some to sell, but unfortunately if we want to rebuild, we're not going to be able to sell and take advantage of the, the good prices. He says it'll take at least three years of average rainfall for the property to be profitable again. And a cyclone-related downpour would be a welcome end to the wet season. Lucy Murray, ABC News.